Uh, uh, when you're dealing with uh, low SES or socioeconomic status, uh, there's so many barriers when it comes to college. Uh, the, the FAFSA in and of itself is more of a, uh, it, it's an opening of the books, really. And so perhaps the parents don't want the students to know how little they're making uh, and, and really showing their hand. And so they may not want to fill out the FAFSA and actually allow that child to get some much needed federal aid. Uh, but also, uh, cost in and of itself is a barrier. And I think that's a barrier for everyone of socioeconomic status, no, no matter whom. But especially research suggests that in low socioeconomic uh, 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 environments, parents will overestimate the cost of college by three times, uh, three times of what it normally is. So essentially telling that child, you know what, it's too, it's too much, uh, $60,000 a year, you can't afford it, I can't afford it, don't even bother. And so all of a sudden, without even realizing, that child has a knowledge gap and now can't go to college and won't because they know they can't. And so it's so difficult for parents who, who feel the pressures of that economic situation and think it's out of reach to not go through the process. But they're mu students who fill out the FAFSA are much more likely to go to college um, than students who don't. So that's the main door that opens up for, for kids is for filing that FAFSA because once they get that award letter back from the colleges and see that, oh wow, this is actually attainable, we can make this work, then that, that gives them the basically that eye-opening experience to say this might actually be a possibility for us. So, and then there's also a lot of scholarship searches that are available. So for those students that are, that are really proactive and really um, work hard and want, to do, and want to get that money, they can go out and search for those scholarships and find money on their own as well. And their school is a great resource for that as well. Counselors usually have all the scholarship information from local organizations that students can go through and find and apply for those to get that additional funding that doesn't come from the federal government. The free application for uh, federal student aid, and and, and really, um, that that's the linchpin for enrollment, especially in low income areas, because ninety percent of folks who fill out the FAFSA enroll in college, and that is that's almost bordering on a silver bullet there. But what we have to do is get these folks to fill that out, and you're dealing with first generation. Uh, you're dealing with folks who may be undocumented, the parents don't want to fill anything out. There's a lot of slippery slopes there, but we have to be able to work around that because uh, if we put the students first and try to, try to find a solution for them, we can, really, we can really get these kids to school. Now the problem is, is sometimes in low income uh, environments, the child would rather you know, be in jail than go to school or be in jail than go home. And so there's some barriers there that uh, even some of the most profoundly uh, intellectual uh, folks there that are trying to help these kids just can't help. But we do what we can and we try to uh, bring knowledge to where there's a knowledge gap. And I would say the FAFSA is the key for families of any economic background, really. Mm -hmm. um, even for families that feel that they might not qualify for any financial aid that's based on need, they should still fill out the free application because it is the application for student loans as well. And sometimes not filling it out, you can exclude yourself from other type of aid that may have been available to you. Some colleges may want the FAFSA even though the, the award might not be based on your need, but they want to see that you're not eligible for need-based money first. So we always encourage all families to complete the FAFSA if they're planning to go to on to post-secondary education.